So a material safety data sheet is essentially a document which accompanies the product which indicates the contents of the product chemically, uh, the melting point, the whether it vaporizes, what the hazards are to the people that are using it. It's more directed at the end user and staff for their, for their protective benefit. Okay, so MSDS sheets typically are sort of in tandem with labels. They, they try not to say things different from a label. But normally MSDS sheets are directed at the end users for the end user's benefit, not for the patient's benefit. Well, I think you're referring to the dispersaloy labeling of a few years ago. Dispersaloy is now owned by Densply Corporation. Uh, interestingly, it used to be Johnson & Johnson's product, but in response to some work done by one of your other interviewees, Dr. Vasifosian, uh, the a very interesting thing happened. Johnson & Johnson sold off all their amalgam division and they no longer make or distribute amalgams. So Densply bought the dispersal oil. My understanding is that, that Densply, because their product is, is distributed internationally, uh, did a labeling that was a little stiffer than what FDA had had for their labeling requirements. Stiffer meaning that uh, there were some contraindication warnings, uh, perhaps in the MSDS sheet, or the label itself that they did on their own labeling. They did it on their own, in which it was like should not be used in children, people with kidney disease or children six and under and pregnant women and so on. The, I believe the FDA stepped in and said, you can't do that. FDA basically allows latitude for a manufacturer to change their labeling. But typically, the manufacturer has to send this change to the FDA for approval at some point in that process. In this particular case, I believe Densply made these labeling changes in order to protect themselves, of course, but they were not FDA approved changes. And so therefore, they took them off the American labels the product distributed in the United States. My understanding is that these labels may still be on the European or international labels. Not sure about that.